Recording in progress. Welcome to this moment. I am Natalie. It is fantastic to see you. Let's get started on our mat today. We are going to do some lower body stretches, getting into those lower backs, as well as working on our core. So today, grab your mat, some blocks, a strap, and I have something to support my head over here. So join me on the mat, grab some water, grab all those things, and let's get started. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's stand nice and tall, rolling those shoulders up, back and down. I have my feet wider than hip distance width. And I'm gonna straighten this out because it looks crooked. <laughs> it's probably my camera that's crooked. So roll those shoulders, shake it out. You can hear some drum music. See where that takes you this morning. Shake it on out, wiggle it on out. Shake your head, your hips, and then pull those toes away from the mat or the floor or the blanket, whatever you're using. Peel them away. Stand nice and tall. Fire on those abdominals. Fire on those uh, quads as well. Roll shoulders and see if you could place each toe down one at a time. I can't. It's hard and bring them back up and try it again. Sometimes looking at them helps <laughs> one more time. And then gently place your toes back on the mat. Let's roll through those feet. And right away, lifting from those ears, really find the length in your spine as we want to work on those abdominals today. So finding that good posture. And let's just circle one ankle and the other direction, other foot. Squeeze those toes and extend them a few times. Getting into those ankles. Shake it on out. And let's do some pelvic tilts. Lengthening tailbone towards the floor, back and forth. Never forcing, just find that fluid movement. Even here, keep those abdominals engaged. See where your breath can expand when you find that engagement. And let's move on to a circle with those hips. Take the circle how you like it. Now, this is first thing in the morning for me, so maybe a smaller circle feels good. Maybe a bigger, wider circle feels good to you. Take it right here, right now, and go both directions. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Reverse when it feels good. And then let's move those hips side to side. And lift your heart, your chest. Let's pretend we have this amazing message on our chest and we just want the world to see it. Mine says, grateful, so grateful for this body. Take any movement that you need here right now with those hips. Grateful for my body because I get to do all the things that I want. So we're here taking care of it so we can step out into the day and do those things that we want. Shake out those bodies again. And let's bring those arms in straight in the body, straight in front of you. And then let's open and then round through the chest through your spine. Your head is heavy, my knees are bent. Inhale, bringing those arms out to the side into that cactus shape, and then round. 
do it again two more times really lifting your heart your chest and round And then as you exhale, roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Clasp your hands behind you. Draw shoulders away from the ears, pulling shoulder blades together. Again, engaging your core, but try not to lock out those knees, but engage them. Engage your quads. And let's bring the, your clasp hands over to that right side. Lengthen from those ears. And let's just gently left ear to left shoulder. Now experiment here whether you bring that chin up higher or lower. No pulling, your head is heavy. Draw chin to that right armpit. And as you bring your chin to your chest, remove those hands from that side body. Unclasp your hands, pressing the palms of your hands away from you. And then roll it up with me, please. And then open those arms. Let's clasp that awkward thumb on top, whichever that is. So really lengthening, drawing shoulders away from ears, shoulder blades together, core engage, and bring those hands to that left side. Stand tall, engaged, even your pelvic floor. And then bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Finding that sweet spot, bringing the chin higher. Just being super gentle. First time moving your head this morning, your neck. Maybe it's stiff. Maybe you're watching this later in the day. And it's stiff from sitting at work. And let's draw that chin to your left armpit. And remove that hand from your side body as you bring your chin to your chest. Take one big stretch here. Maybe rock your head side to side gently, softly. And unclasp those hands, roll your shoulders and your head back up. So awesome to see you guys. All right, let's look right and left a few times. <sighs> Take this motion how you need it, soft, uh, faster, slower. And return back to the center. Open those arms really wide. Lengthen from the tops of those ears. Let's bring our right arm underneath us, crossing once or twice, finding that nice 90 degree angle with those elbows, those arms, and lifting from those ears. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, curl inwards, but moving those uh, forearms away from your face. And then inhale back up, lift a little bit, and exhale, rounding one more time. Inhale, lengthen, lifting, and exhale, rounding here. Take a few deep breaths right here. Forearms are pressing together. Releasing any tension in your shoulders. Your legs are strong and steady, holding you up. Inhale back up. 
unwind those arms, reach out in both directions, lift your heart, your chest, and bring the other one, your left, underneath, crossing once or twice, finding that nice 90 degree angle with those arms. Inhale up and exhale round. Inhale up, exhale round. One more time. And round. Hold it here for a few breaths. Forearms pressing in towards each other. Head is heavy. Core is engaged. Legs are strong. And inhale, returning back up, unwind, uncross those arms, open your heart, your chest, and roll shoulders up, back and down. Now let's bring our knees up. Just do some knee lifts. But since we're working on our core, engage your lower abdominals. And if you wanna engage your lower abdominals, maybe even a little bit more, Flex that foot. Toes towards the shin every time you bring them up. Now a lot of times we can work core working on our balance, so get ready for that. Awesome. Let's do four more sets. Four, three, two, and one, and bring that right leg in. Find your balance, core engage, shoulders away from those ears. If it feels good, you could twirl that right toe. Find your balance in your abdominals. Beautiful. Now for the balance, let's remove those hands. Find your balance, strengthening that hip flexor. Still with that right leg. Keep it up. You got it. And then lengthen behind you. Pressing that right heel into the floor. And before we do anything, grab those blocks. Make sure you have them at the top of your mat. We're going to be using those. So you have stepped that right leg back, pressing into that heel. I would have them at their highest level. Square those hips, bending that front knee, lengthen your spine. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, hinge forward. Hands come to the top of the blocks. Core engage. You can keep a flat back here, please. So we're just going to bend that front knee and straighten it. And bend and straighten. One more. And straighten without locking both of those knees. Let's round into our spine and hinge forward. You can flip those blocks. Maybe on their lowest setting, maybe you could reach the floor. Square those hips, please. Invite a bend in that front knee, bringing those hands to that hip, to your hips. Bring yourself back up. Beautiful. Take a few deep breaths here. And then switch out those feet. But first we have to start with bringing that left leg in to our chest, circling the big toe if it feels good. If it doesn't, don't do it. Find your balance. Bring those shoulders away from your ears. I don't know if you noticed, as soon as I did that, my shoulders went whoop. So just shake it out. Do it again. Fire on those abdominals. And release that leg. Did you see my balance? <laughs> and then let's step that left leg back. 
Finding that lunge again, squaring out those hips, pressing into that back heel. Let's step back this way. Ooh, it was really windy. All my pillows outside are everywhere. Actually, I think it was right. So let's inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, hinge forward, straightening that front leg. Using those blocks on this highest setting, square those hips, bend your front knee, and straighten. Just make sure you've done both legs. Bend and straighten. You're in your flat back, core is engaged. Bend and straighten. Square out those hips, and then round through the spine, hinge forward. Fire on that quad, but don't lock out that knee. I don't know if you notice, but I'm on the lowest setting of, block, of my block, but I'm on my fingertips. That's where I am this morning. Nothing wrong with that, right? Invite that bend in your front knee, bringing both of your hands to your hips, using your core, bring yourself up and those legs. And stepping that back leg in. Before we head on down to the mat, let's get into those hips even more. Doing some little circles here. And again, you can use your chair if you like. Um, a wall, a friend. Sometimes falling off your balance, not sometimes, falling off your balance is great. Because then things can fire on to get you back onto your balance. Let's... Do the opposite, bringing that leg forward. And other side. Even here, my lower abdominals are engaged, lifting from those ears. And reverse when it feels good. Awesome. Shake it out and bring those blocks right underneath you, right in front of you at the top of your mat, just in case you need them, they're there. So roll your shoulders. This time I want you to bring those toes right underneath those hip bones. Roll shoulders, inhale up. And as you exhale, hinge forward. And inhale, coming up halfway. Finding that nice long spine energy out both the top and bottom of your spine. And then exhale, bend through the knees. Shake your head, nod it, wiggle jaw, fingers and toes. Place blocks underneath you if you need them. And let's bend our left leg and straighten our right. Alternating, please. <coughs> I like to use the blocks under my hands because it brings the floor closer and I can get a little bit deeper. But that's what works for me, so play around, see what works for you. Maybe hands to the floor feels better this morning. And returning back to that left knee bent. If you have your fingers or hands on the blocks, remove them. And let's just walk our trunk over to that left side. Getting a side body stretch and also maybe feeling it in that right glute. Pulling abdominals away from those thighs. Walk yourself back to the center. Bend both knees and straighten them. And bend and straighten. One more time, bend. 
and straighten and bend that right leg and then walk your trunk over to that right side head is heavy getting into your other side pulling abdominals away from those thighs maybe you wiggle your jaw here And back to the center, bend and straighten those legs a couple times or opposite legs. And then bend both the knees, coming down to your tabletop, please. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, spreading those fingers, pressing into those knuckles, pulling abdominals away from your uh, away from the mat, away from the floor, tops of the feet pressing into the mat. Lengthen that left leg behind you, press into that heel. Stretching out the back of your leg. And return it. Now your right leg, stretch it out behind you. Pressing into that heel. And left again. and then right returning your knee back underneath that hip exhale all the stale air out round through the spine inhale dropping belly looking up three more with your own breath please On your next inhale, return back to your tabletop. And right away, I want you to lengthen that left leg out straight behind you. Lift it off off the mat. Find your balance here. Toes pointed towards the mat, glute engage, And then lift your right arm. Find your balance in your core, please. And gently lower hand and knee back to the mat. Extend your right leg, right toes pointed towards the mat, lifting that leg, engage your glute, core engage, lift your left arm. And release hand and knee to the mat, left leg, right arm right away. Gently release, right leg, left arm. Find that stability in your core. One more time. Left leg, right arm, flat spine. Gently release to the mat. Last one, right leg, left arm. Gently release, knee and hand. Lift left leg, right arm. Stretch in opposite directions. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bringing elbow to knee. Crunching through the center. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale, crunching center. Two more just like this. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. One more. Exhale, crunch. Stretch it out. And then place hand and knee back on the mat. Let's move to that left, that other side. And then we'll, we'll stretch those wrists. So lengthen right leg, left arm. Lengthen opposite direction. Find that stability. Exhale, bringing elbow to knee. Again. Elbow to knee. Two more times, just like this. Oh, 
last one and we're out. stretch out and then lower hand and knee to the mat let's open those knees as wide as the mat or as comfortable to you bringing big toes together sit on those heels and before we stretch on out roll through the wrists wiggle those fingers those thumbs snap do all the things and then sit nice and tall lengthen through your spine see if you could keep those glutes connected or as low as you are those hips glutes to the, the feet and then walk yourself forward this is a great spot for your block underneath your forehead to bring the floor closer inhale bringing your head up walk those hands over to that left side and as you exhale sink back down sitting making sure that right hip is super heavy feeling that side body stretch inhale up walking through the center carry yourself over to that right side exhale release to the floor left hip is super heavy inhale back up walking over to the center exhale bringing yourself to the center two more deep breaths here walk hands underneath shoulders using the strength of your arms only press up bringing knees underneath hips again hands underneath shoulders spread those fingertips pressing in to those knuckles as well take a tailbone circle here feel the engagement of your lower spine and reverse And then find a sway of your hips back and forth and then return to your tabletop everything in alignment curl those toes along the mat you know what's happening beast except we're gonna do 12 so we're gonna lift and lower so all you do is lift those knees off the mat and gently lower fire on those abdominals 10 more 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one hold it hold five four three two one gently lower who bring tops of the feet to the mat sit back come off of those wrists swing those legs around you right in front of you roll shoulders up back and down circle those wrists maybe stretch them out if they need to check your posture sit nice and tall fire on those abdominals windshield wiper those wrists roll shoulders bring those feet closer in to your body and our boat pose so let's rock back maybe toe tips are on the mat maybe you lift those legs find that balance lift your heart 
Maybe you release those hands, drawing thighs together, and toe taps starting left. Tap and up, tap. Or if your toes are on the floor, you're lifting those legs, right? Lift that heart even higher. How's it going over there? I'm concentrating. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Bring those feet to the mat. Soles of the feet together. Wide butterfly. Tilt those hips forward and round. Release that back. My butterfly is so wide that my legs are almost at a 90 degree angle. So more of a diamond shape. And walk yourself back up. Roll shoulders, find the bottoms of the feet to the mat again. <coughs> find that boat pose. Sit tall, roll the shoulders. Rock back. Maybe use uh, your thighs as some stability. Maybe your feet are on the floor. Hold it here, lengthen from those ears, core engaged. Maybe you bring your hands, lift them away from those legs, draw thighs together, hold it. Hold. Lift your heart, your chest. And gently release. Let's swing those legs behind us before we rest back into your beast. Curl those toes along the mat, wrists under shoulders, core engaged, flat back. You ready? Fire on those abdominals. Lift those knees and let's dip those hips side to side. Slight twist. Nice work today with those cores. And gently lower your knees and swing those feet in front of you. Roll shoulders back into that boat pose. Maybe this time you keep your toes on the floor. Maybe this time you lift those toes. So rock back, find that balance. Bring those thighs together, engage your core, lift your heart, toe taps. Alternating. Take any tension out of your neck and shoulders. Find that engagement in your core. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Finish up your last set. Beautiful. Lower those legs. Hinge forward. Find that butterfly again. Wide or shallow, whatever you want to do with your legs. Just hinging forward, bringing those hips forward a little bit. Rocking forward. I 
and walk yourself back up let's hold it into that boat pose so take it where you want to balance today rock back lift up those legs you can even straighten those legs I don't know where you are with your boat but just find that balance Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself forward in that butterfly one more time. Wiggle your jaw. Bring yourself back up, please. Make sure you have your blocks um, and your strap and something to support your head. So let's hold on to the back of one leg and gently roll down, or you can roll to one side and roll all the way down. So meet me on your back. I just have to adjust my mic. So holding on to the back of a thigh and then gently take your time as you roll down. Meet me on your back. Wiggle between those shoulder blades. Bottoms of the feet are making contact with the mat. Before we do any crunches or anything, press lower back into the mat and then release. Plus press and release finding that rocking motion please beautiful press lower back into the mat interlace those hands behind your head regular crunches so there's no tension in your neck or jaw you're just lifting and lowering Two more here. Awesome. Lifting that left leg up nice and tall. We're going to lift, but we're going to bring that right elbow to that left leg, but we're going to also bend it. So it looks like this. We're going to bend and straighten. Halfway there, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's cross the right leg over into that figure four, drawing the right foot closer. Same thing, doing that twist, but with our leg bent and our foot on that right knee. So we're going to bring it across and down, across and down. Six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's bring those feet back to the mat, that left foot back to the mat. Lift up those legs nice and straight. Cross your left ankle over your right and crunches here, 12. Lift and lower. Six. 
Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice work. Circle. One direction. And reverse. So I did six circles. Finish up your circles. And bend those knees. Feet flat on the mat. Breathe. Lower knees to that right side, please. Oblique crunches, 12 here. Lift and lower. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Bring knees back up. Remove the hands away from your back of your head. Stretch them above your head. Lengthen legs out straight, nice and long. Take a full body stretch, please. We got to do everything on that left side. Bringing bottoms of the feet to the mat. Regular crunches, 12 of them. Ready? Here we go. Lift and lower. <sighs> Halfway there, six more, six. Three, holy smokes, two, and one. Let's lift that right leg up, flexing through those toes. This is where we bring elbow to knee. We bend as we bring that crunch in. Twelve, here we go. Six more here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Let's cross that right ankle over the left knee, drawing the left foot closer to your glutes. Same thing, but with a bent knee, bringing left elbow to the right knee, but that keeping that right knee nice and open. 12 here. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, and one. Woohoo, nice work. <clears throat> Let's bring both of those legs up, cross right ankle over left, and crunches here. Twelve, you know what to do. I have six more here. Hope you're feeling this. I truly am. Oh my goodness. 
and circle those feet in one direction six times pressing lower back into the mat elbows are heavy they're not crunched up towards your ears reverse your circles Finish up six on this side, please. Ooh, bend those knees towards your chest. Let's lower feet to the mat. We're almost done, my friends. Lower knees to that left side. Finishing out with those oblique crunches. Twelve of them. You ready? Let's do this. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, beautiful. Bringing knees back up to the center. Lengthen legs nice and long. Hands above your head. Stretch your trunk in both directions. Bringing bottoms of the feet to the mat, pressing them into the mat. Lift those hips over to that left side, bringing our upper body and lower body to that right side. For that side body stretch, your banana, maybe using your right arm to lengthen left above the head, maybe crossing left ankle over right. Get into those obliques, your side body, feeling nice and long. And release, feet back onto the mat, lift those hips over to the other side, trunk and legs to the left, crossing ankles or not, using left hand to lengthen right above your head if you like. <clears throat> Breathing into that side body. and release adjust yourself back onto the mat and before we use the block to stretch out those psoas bringing feet close to those hips windshield wiper those knees to the right and to the left just back and forth a few times <clears throat> I know I said we'd use our strap, but we're almost out of time. We'll have to do that next time. And return those knees back to the center. Pressing hips up, find your block. And let's place that block underneath those hips. Please not below that tailbone and gently lower them. And this is where I want you to decide what feels good to you today. Your options are lengthening, straightening both legs. If this is too much, you could do one leg at a time. Or you can do a butterfly or bring feet as wide as the mat and allow knees to fall in. But I'm going to start here, right here. Right now, I mean. And release those hands to your side body. Wiggle between those shoulder blades. Palms facing up. Shoulders are heavy. Switch your legs here. If you have one straight and one bent. Bend one leg, bring foot to the floor, and then the other. 
bringing bottoms of the feet together. Let's do a butterfly here. Wiggle between your shoulders. Breathing. Using hands to close those legs to bring them together. Walk feet as wide as the mat and allow feet to fall in towards each other. Maybe they're repelling. Just let them do where, let them be where they need to be. And then release those legs. Walk your feet in alignment with those hips. Drawing knees into your chest. A gentle rock back and forth, please. Little massage on your lower back. And then straighten those legs. Keep a soft bend in them. Allow the blood to flow back the other direction for just a moment. Bend your knees, place them back onto the mat, press into the mat, lift those hips, remove the block. Let's roll onto one side. Press into the floor, bring yourself back up. Bring yourself back into that tabletop. Curl toes along the mat and then press those hips up towards the ceiling. Pedal through those feet, please. Another nice stretch for the backs of your legs. Heads are heavy. You can even shake your head, nod it here. And then press both feet into the mat. Maybe heels reach the mat. Maybe they don't. Lift those hips higher. Shake your head, nod it. Now bend super bendy knees, walk hands towards your feet. Bend those knees continually, super bendy. Drop your booty, grab opposite elbow. Rock back and forth for a few breaths. Release those hands, shake head, nod it. Pull abdominals away from those thighs. Press firmly into those feet. Bend those knees. Roll yourself up. Take your time. Maybe you walk your hands up your front body. Your shoulders, neck, and head are last. And roll yourself back up. Take your time. Standing nice and tall. Bringing feet underneath those hip bones. Roll shoulders, close your eyes for just a breath or two. Allow what you did to synchronize with your body in this moment. Beautiful work today. Gently bat open those eyelashes. Let's finish with a breath together. Let's share this breath, this moment together as we close, inhale up. Exhale, release, growing even taller. Again, inhale up. Exhale, release, nice work. Gather in as you inhale all that strength. Grab it in the palms of your hands, draw it close to your heart. Bow your head in gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Beautiful work. Thank you all so very much. Te quiero mucho. Gracias. I love you. I hope you feel fantastic. Thank you.